guys. Uh, my name is Matt Hellstrom, and today we're going to do a review on the new canoe Flint on the Flint River. I have a dry storage that was from a Journey 10 uh, by Sun Dolphin. It was two kayaks that I bought for my girls. And they've gotten plenty of use out of it, but they never seem to use these, so I stole one. It actually mounts very nice up in the front. It is dry storage. I keep things in there, not necessarily to keep dry. Um, my anchor, uh, some rope, uh, small stuff like that, um, just to have it with me. Uh, also makes ease of unloading, and I can just put everything in there as far as tackling and stuff like that in order to take out carry that to the truck before I lift the kayak out of the water and carry it up. Move on to the dash that I've installed. Um, I got the fire starter kit with my, my new canoe when I purchased it. Um, the only thing it didn't have was the risers for the dashboard. Uh, so I went ahead and made some. I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, best part about this little kayak is the hog trough in a perfect location sitting there waiting for you to measure your fish uh, it's 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 perfect i really love it it's out of the way uh, it's tucked underneath there um, and my dry storage actually holds it in there a little bit better than than just the little little rubber thing they got going across i did raise my seat uh, i have a two point 75 inch lift in front and a 1.75 lift in back. Um, I use some square aluminum. I did not purchase the lift kit. Um, I'm cheap. Uh, I can make things. I tend to do that. Um, you know, hence the risers. Um, I love the seat. The seat's great. Um, I did put it at a little bit of a, a recumbent position. Uh, I do have a bad back and it helps a lot. Um, the paddle holders on the sides here are godsend. <laughs> I don't want to stress that that much, but it is it is fantastic what they've done with that, and they should patent the crap out of that and keep that for only new canoe customers uh, and new canoe boats. Um, back here, uh, you can see that power pole thing in the back. Uh, that's my own creation, also. Um, I did put a Yak Attack uh, anchor trolley on. Um, the only time I really use that is for um, maybe an anchor up in front, out here on the river, or if I tend to go to a lake or something like that, I can use that to anchor down uh, anywhere deeper than what this little manual power pole does. Um, I have this manual power pole attached right here to a little plate. When you pull up, you let down, and let it down. When you want to come back up, you just lift it up, crank it over, and it stays up. It worked out pretty good. I got that the cleat thing at Lowe's. Um, those are awesome, actually. They work really, really well. The fiberglass rod I got at Walmart. I think it was like eight bucks. It's only six foot long. But really, that's truthfully all I need out here. That's kind of obvious. Um, I might only use about two to three feet of it. Um, it. The string goes through this little hole and attaches to the fiberglass rod here underneath. Uh, it's just a, a regular knot. Uh, that way I can undo it when I get ready to leave. Uh, new canoe strap that ties into the tracks back here is perfect to hold my um, my cooler. Uh, rod holders are great. I like how they set them up so that they stagger. You don't end up getting your baits and stuff all tangled up. Um, I did attach a backpack. Um, that's actually a hunting backpack. It normally attaches to a little stool um, so that you can take it with you and sit in the stool while you're hunting. Um, it attaches very easy and right to the back of the, the seat as it should. Uh, one thing that I did want to talk about is that cup holder. 
Now out here in Georgia, today I think it's 97 degrees. Sunny as all get out. That's why I bring a big old cooler uh, full of drinks. Uh, that cup holder actually holds a Gatorade bottle dead secure. I mean, it does not come out. You have to really pull it to get it to come out. It's perfect. It's in between your legs, out of the way. You never notice it's even there. Um, that's another good thing. Anyway, this is the new canoe flint. And it's native land <laughs> here in the Flint River in Georgia. I couldn't ask for a better boat. Truthfully, I, I've used a ton. And this by far has the best tracking, uh, the best speed, especially out here. I, I came up river and was able to paddle it. Uh, you know, had to get out and walk a few spots, you know, obviously. Um, but this boat's amazing. I love it. Uh, it is the greatest thing that I've purchased. It was a great investment. Big old nice, beautiful Sholey. That's what I'm talking about right there. Gorgeous fish. This is what you come out here for. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish.